good afternoon YouTubers um, this is my latest purchase um, nothing fancy nothing special inexpensive uh, these watches they actually retail on the market for about 179.99 pounds sterling um, this is at the price at the moment um, I bought this uh, even cheaper than that second hand uh, on eBay thank you very much for the guy that actually sold it to me um, I just opened it once wound it once and um, I loved it as soon as I saw it I loved it and my interest for 1930s and 1940 PCs have brought me to find this which is a stunning looking watch in my opinion and uh, to find out that even Rolex which is a brand that I do like but I don't rate that much because it's it's, it's like an Apple um, Apple Watch is like an Apple phone it, it's, it just gets abused by the masses it's, it's not unique it's, it's I don't know it just doesn't suit me but with this piece I found out that Rolex made a jump watch and it was the Rolex Marconi and that I think it will be a Rolex worth looking into. So, without waiting any longer, let's open a box and wrist check. I'm wearing my Omega Planet Ocean 600m orange on a NATO strap. Okay, done that. Let's open the box. Even the box, nothing fancy. Um, one thing I noticed on the box, not on the outer box, well, there is a brief description of the company here that should look good um, the box that comes into has got this like uh, crocodile finish look-alike it's it's not bad again remember 180 pounds what I didn't like was that cheap uh, made in China sticker could avoid that but okay so Let's open the box, although now I shook it, so I hope it's going to be okay. So this is the inside of the box. Obviously, as you can see, it's already been taken off the uh, thingy bob there. It comes with a nice pad. Hang on, let's me focus. So, as I said, now it's on focus, and it comes with this pad to polish it and it comes with this little pouch which is very cute with authentic historical reproduction I don't know what's inside, I didn't open it uh, this other thing here which I didn't read and the instruction manual so basically it's the usual you know how to use it just in case you don't know so how this watch works like any other watch but instead of having the moving hands it's been replaced with two discs which they tell the time now this is the watch and as soon as you can see it last check at the back of the box see nothing special uh, just an old cardboard box so as you can see straight away it's something completely different I mean I do like the way this looks I mean it's just something that if I saw it on the wrist of someone I definitely gonna give a second and third and a fourth look I am not too happy about all the writing or at least not the kind of writing we got on here but hey for what you pay you can live with it um, it's got automatic movement, nothing fancy. Uh, I try to look up what kind of mechanism it's using, but at the moment I've got nothing to share. I'll eventually, um, whatever I find, I will post it. Printed on the uh, bracelet, on the strap, and is also printed on the on a clasp on a buckle sorry so what can I say um, I saw it liked it and literally it looks like something from the 1930s and this display it's it's all about vintage cars vintage looks 
Art Deco. It's just it's me. Yeah, uh, I I really like it. Uh, even the the finishing. Let's put it on automatic focus. The finishing on this watch, it's it's decent. I mean, I've seen some crappy stuff out there for like five six hundred pounds and. Uh, Considering the price, I cannot knock it. Some work has gone into it. I don't know how they can make it so cheap, but they do. They really do. So, this is how it goes so far. Oh, one thing you might want to see is there you go. There's the display. You can see the moving hour, you can see the moving minutes. Disappointed that it's missing the seconds. But have to live with it. Little detail there. I don't know if you can focus. Maybe not. There you go. Even the crown has been stamped. So this look really does it for me. So I just bought Distress Leather NATO strap because for an everyday use. I think this will look a lot better. Now I will wear it for about a week or so, see how accurate it is, see how it works, see how it looks, see how it feels, and uh, I'll submit my comments. Sizes. Now this for me is a little bit on the small side. Yes, no tape, because honestly I don't care very much. Uh, the size of the watch is 38.8, so it's a 39 mil. Again, 39 mil. Uh, let's go lug to lug. If I can grab it is 44 and with the crown 43 so is not my size of watch as you can see it's a little bit on the small size but we are looking at a reproduction and I have to admit it does look nice it, it wears bigger I think it looks bigger than what it is so I can live with it uh, one important thing the strap the strap is a 22 2 so it's a 22 mil strap so bear in mind is a 22 mil so let's do the swap and see how it goes thank you for watching